guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm just sorting my hair out because I have been filming for literally hours today. It is Saturday today and the sun is shining, <laughs> the skies are blue and the reason why I'm appreciating that moment is because it has been like freaking Antarctica over here. Like the last few days have been so, so cold and I'm actually a little bit gobsmacked because if you watched my last vlog I did with Holly when we went to London, the weather was absolutely glorious. So to go from that to this bitter, horrible, cold weather, it just hasn't been a vibe. So to see the blue skies today and to see the sun is making me a very happy girl. <laughs> so yeah, today I am picking up the camera to start a vlog. Not gonna lie, I did start this vlog yesterday, but I didn't intro the video and it was mainly just like a food haul and stuff. So I'll insert that footage after this part, if that makes sense. I'm going to start the vlog with a haul. So I've shopped from a brand called Naked. So I don't know if you guys have heard of it before. It's not Naked with like Naked Naked. It's like N-A-K-D like that. So I thought I would pop in a haul in this video. I've got some really, really nice bits because in... Uh, two weeks time I'm going to Manchester with Laura for her 30th birthday and I'm really excited and I'm praying 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 the weather holds up and it's nice so we can obviously get some nice pictures and I just wanted some nice outfits to wear there as well that feel comfortable smart but you know still comfy vibes um so yeah Naked have been really kind to gift me these items this video is not sponsored or anything like that but they have gifted me the items I'm going to be sharing with you because yeah, they reached out and was like, do you want to try us out? I was like, oh my God, yes, I've seen you everywhere. So finally it gets to try them out. Obviously I'll try everything on, but I'll hold it up now as well and talk to you guys about it. So the first thing I picked up was this blazer. So the sizing is European sizing. So I think EU 38 is a 10. I'm pretty sure I got everything in a 10 other than the trousers in a 12. I think I'm pretty sure that is what I did. So this is the first item. So it is a cream blazer, love this, got shoulder pads and it has this corset detailing stitched on there. Can you see that? So yeah, I think this is absolutely stunning guys. The quality of this is definitely on par with Zara. If not, I wanna say it better. Honestly, like it's amazing quality and I am so excited. I do need to steam this, but I'm so excited to try this on. The ideas I have for this are, to wear it with a black pair of cycling shorts and a plain black bodysuit or something like that. Like, you know, a really casual outfit and then to add this on just to really smarten it up. I love that sort of look and it's not actually a look I ever do and I'm really excited to give it a try. I'm just excited for life at the minute. I really am in a good mood. Like I really, really am. Maybe we'll talk about that later on in the video. Not that there's not actually any reason why, but just talk about happiness. <laughs> then I picked up another blazer. So this one, again, I got it in a size 10. And this one is just beautiful again. So this one is, I think it's called, tw I think it's called twill, twill fabric. So it's basically, hopefully you can see it when I zoom in, but it's like almost cord. It's like ribbed, but it's quite textured. Uh, it just looks really expensive and luxurious. So you've got the padded shoulders again, and it's just a relaxed fit, slightly oversized blazer. It's got buttons on the sleeves. And this again is just gonna be one of the pieces that I can chuck on over a nice basic outfit just to smarten it up. I really do love that look. I see so many girls on Instagram rock it. I'm like, it just looks so cool. It's so effortless and it's so chic. So that is the sort of vibe I wanna be going for. So that is how I'm gonna try and style these. And then I've literally got a whole outfit here, which I cannot wait to try on. So, so the next one I got in a size medium, I probably could have got small actually looking at it, but I was just worried a size small would be too small. <laughs> so it's a ribbed sweetheart neckline top. It's in this beautiful cream color. And then it's the ribbed fabric, as you can see. And yeah, it's just a top. So probably would have liked it in a bodysuit, just because I do love bodysuits, but there's nothing wrong with a good old top. You can just tuck it in and, you know, easier when you go to the toilet and all that, you haven't got to unpop it. So that is the top that I wanted to style with these trousers. So I've got these also in as well. And these are beautiful stone color, like beigey stone color trousers. They look tailored. They're a lovely fabric. They're quite lightweight. So they're perfect for spring. And they're not flared or anything like that, but they are like kind of straight all the way down, as you can see. And I just think these two together are gonna look really, really sophisticated vibes. I also got a trench coat as well to wear with it. Now this trench coat is very thin. Like, I don't know if you can see, but in a good way because in the spring, you don't want anything heavy, but sometimes you just want a little something to chuck on you. And this trench coat, I feel like, is going to be that sort of vibe. So I got this one also in a 10. Now, this is very oversized, so I probably could have got this in a size 8, and it probably would have given me a good look. But it's all right. You'll see it better on. Yeah, it's just like your standard sort of trench coat, but it's crinkled. So can you see? It's like a crinkly sort of fabric. 
but it just adds a bit of texture, which I really like. And then the buttons on it are the same color as the actual trench. And yeah, it's just like a really big oversized maxi trench coat. And then I also got some heels to go with and these are stunning. So these are a beautiful stone color heel. I got these in a size five and they fit perfectly. They've got a beautiful square toe and then you've got the single strap here. And then this strap is almost like a little bit bubbly. Do you see what I mean? It's like a bit more than just a strap. I can't explain it, but this is like a flat strap and this one's like, a bubble strap i really love the look of it and then that tightens around your ankle and again that's like that bubbly sort of look i just think these look beautiful they're so elegant and so classy and there's so many ways i can wear these and i love the heel because they're not too high and then like a nice chunky heel as well um so they're going to be so comfy on honestly i'm really really pleased with these like can you see on my face honestly no, i'm really happy with these and then i also got some sunglasses from them as well so i just wanted to try some different styles they've got so many nice sunglasses on there now i need to actually take off the tags on these because they will look a little bit lopsided but we don't have time for that right now, so I'm just going to try them on anyway. So don't laugh at me, guys, because I am like, I always say it, but I always struggle with sunglasses. And I don't know if it's just a hang up I've got, it isn't actually true, but I put sunglasses on, I'm like, oh, they don't suit me. But yeah, let me know what you think. So this is the first pair. So I like the colour of the frames, but they probably do look a little bit wonky where I need to, like, you know, take this tag off, like I say. But that is the first pair. I'm always looking out for sunglasses that are going to work well for Instagram pictures because, you know, if you are. If you're a, a loyal, a loyal um, subby out there, then you'll be following me on Instagram too. And you'll know that I'm really stepping Instagram up this year and trying to post a lot more. So I'm trying to like, you know, get good shots and stuff. So I wanted to get some different sunglasses. Just so I'm wearing different ones. These are like a cat eye with like a tortoiseshell sort of look about them. And then the last ones again are that like cat eye. This is just the shape that I really like. These ones are like a little bit see through -y. like normally I get the ones that are just plain black but these are like brown and with brown lens which I love I love brown I think I quite like these I don't know let me know what you think have you seen that TikTok guys and it's like you can wear sunglasses like this to look I mean I don't know if it's this light but you know you wear sunglasses like just to off the end of your nose to look cool this is also all right but this is not all right like, this is how my dad would wear his sunglasses <laughs> But yeah, that is everything that I picked up from Naked and I'm really excited to try the outfits on. I'm going to actually try them on tomorrow. So I would have inserted like the trial clips, but I haven't actually tried them on at this point. So who knows what they're going to look like, but I'm really excited with about them and I'm happy that I've got to try them out because the quality is insane. So yeah, if you've been hesitant about shopping on Naked or wondering, you know, what they're like, one, the delivery was super, super quick because it is overseas and two, um the quality is amazing too like the quality is 10 out of 10 it's like zara vibes zara quality really really nice pieces if you want some pieces to last in your wardrobe a really long time then i definitely recommend shopping on there i do have a discount code as well so that will only be valid for seven days i believe so i'm going to pop the information on the screen for you and in the description box down below as well if you want to use that code to get a discount but yeah oh i just noticed there's a hair on these glasses i hope that wasn't there a dog hair hope that wasn't there when I was trying them on. Um, but yeah, that is everything that I got from Naked. So I'm excited about that. I'm now going to crack on and do some more filming. Because I've got a few more videos I need to get done. And just, just trying to get a lot done this weekend, basically. Because the, the bathroom saga continues, guys. So I'm having my bathroom done. And basically, we've had this big issue with the tiles. Because the, the tile quality is really bad. Which I didn't know about. You know, the price point was like mid-range. They shouldn't have been bad quality. But basically, they're shiny so the coating's really thin the tiler has had endless problems with the tiles and it's just massively delayed the bathroom job but as a result they're coming in like monday to friday each week and they're coming back monday this week uh, well next week and as a result i can't film obviously monday is my normal day off for filming so that's why i'm filming so much at the weekend to try and get all my stuff done because i can't on a monday when they're here it's so loud so that is basically why i'm filming a lot this weekend but yeah i'm gonna stop now and i'm now gonna roll you back to yesterday and you're gonna see a food shop and you're also gonna see me make my friday night fake away like chinese meal and then after that i'll bring you back to the present day so excuse the state of me, honestly I've been working all day, I've barely got any makeup on, my hair is an absolute mess and I always end up losing all my foundation around here throughout the day because I like constantly touch my face but um, yeah today's Friday and it's been a working from home day today so I thought I'd pop on here to start the vlog, probably won't be the intro because 
I'd rather look a bit more presentable for that, but yeah, thought I'd start the vlog here. So I'm gonna share with you a food shop now, cause that's just arrived. And then we're gonna start doing dinner together. So I wanted to share with you my weekly food, well, not weekly food shop guys. This is like a mid week food shop for the weekend basically. Um, this did actually come to about 45 pound, which is quite a lot for what I've got here. But I did get quite expensive foods. I just figured instead of getting a takeaway, we could have something at home that I could make myself, which is gonna be a lot healthier and better for us. So yeah, you'll see that my food shops are a lot better than they ever have been. I'm basically just getting a lot of clean things now. I've stopped buying anything like, you know, sugary things and um, crisps and things like that. Not that I used to get loads of it before, but I've just cut stuff like that out and I'm trying to eat a lot better. So yeah, I'll talk you through what I've got and the meal ideas for the weekend. So. I've got this ciabatta roll. It's actually got one packet to freeze and then one packet to use this weekend. And I really want to make just some really nice like, Italian, so Italian y, Spanish y um, recipes. So the first thing I want to make is tomato bread, which is why I got these tomatoes. A the tomato bread is like a classic Spanish dish and I just love it. It's so nice as a snack or for lunch. So that's going to be one of them. And then the other idea for that is to make an Italian y sort of. Um, bread so I'm going to use some pesto so pop some pesto on there also use these aromatico tomatoes they're so nice they're quite sweet and then also some mozzarella as well and then the prosciutto prosciutto I don't know how to say it that ham and then I also got some fresh basil as well so that's going to be really yummy I'm really looking forward to that and then I also just got some avocados I always get these but that can also be used on the ciabatta as well that'd be really nice for a green smoothie which I've never actually tried before but I want to try it so I got some curly kale then I also got these granny smith apples I got some celery sticks and then I also got a cucumber as well and yeah I'm gonna try oh and I also got this sweet and warming ginger <laughs> like the fresh ginger and I'm gonna try and make a green smoothie tomorrow morning for breakfast because I just want to have a bit of a health kick and I'm really really trying to have more fruits and vegetables and just healthy bits and pieces so that is what we're going for and then for tonight's dinner I wanted to make a fake away version of Chinese so I got myself some noodles and then I also got so to go with the noodles I'm going to do chicken so I got this which actually that is split so that's not good um, but I got this free range corn fed chicken again a bit more pricey than the normal chicken I think a packet well yeah four pounds 14 for literally two chicken breasts which is quite a lot of money compared to the normal but I just wanted to treat us because it is you know the weekend and I'm trying to get more you know just better versions of things which I know this will be slightly better for me than the normal chicken so yeah that will be like a chicken chow mein I've also got soy sauce in the cupboard and a few other bits and pieces to chuck in there I want to chuck in there these um bean sprouts as well to make it nice and crunchy also some onions that sort of thing delicious and then I'm also going to make some duck wraps so I got this I tried this the other day it was so good so this is the Gressingham um, duck legs so they take quite a while to cook but I'm going to use them and then I've also got some hoisin so sweet Chinese hoisin to go in there as well and then I got some spring onions and then also the cucumber so that is to make like duck wraps so I'm very very excited about that honestly it's one of my favorite things to have I've also got water chestnuts as well, which will go in the chow mein. I got these unwaxed lemons. I know I'm just getting cheaper wax ones, but these ones again, better for you, bigger as well. So I'm excited to try them and see if there's a difference. And then the last things I got were just these white fish fillets. These are lovely. I have them a lot, but I actually got these for Lola, my dog, just because, you know, I like to mix up what she eats and she does have raw food 99% of the time. So I like to cook her some fish sometimes as well. So she can have like a nice cooked meal too. So yeah, that is everything that I got from Asda. Okay, so that was the food shop. So tonight, as it's Friday, I am gonna be making the fake away, like fake away version of Chinese. I'm just gonna do chow mein and then also do duck wraps. So I've never done duck wraps before, but I have made the chow mein earlier in the week to test it out to see how it went. So duck takes a really long time to cook. So it literally took me about 90 minutes last time in the oven. So what I've done is I've popped it in the air fryer just show you also pop some chicken in there too so yeah the ducks they're just the ducks <laughs> the duck legs in the air fryer and then the chickens in there and it seems to be cooking quite nicely so i'm happy with how that's coming along hopefully it'll be a lot quicker so basically i'm cooking them first and then honestly it's so straightforward so for the chow mein you're literally going to need the bean sprouts like i said the water chestnuts some soy sauce white onion and your noodles that's literally it so it's so, so easy. And then for the duck wraps, um, yeah, just the spring onion, cucumber, hoisin sauce, and then the duck, and then obviously the wraps. 
these are the wraps I got. So I got these on Amazon. They were about eight pounds for the three packets. Uh, you get a lot in here though. They are so big. Like the, normally from a Chinese takeaway, you get like that sort of size. These are really big and it says in the back, look, take one piece of rice paper at a time, dip into warm water for five seconds. So that is what I'm gonna try and do. Probably gonna do like two wraps each and then the chow mein. I did try and make duck fried rice in the week. Now it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't my best cooking experience either. I just felt like because I was trying to make egg fried rice, it just did not have the taste of a takeaway and it just didn't, it was all right. Like it wasn't terrible, but it just didn't taste how I wanted it to taste. So I gave that a miss this week. Um, it hopefully will be enough. Probably should have made some chips. You know, Chinese takeaway chips, they're so good as well. And I've got the seasoning, but it's too late now because I don't have any chips. So as you would have seen, I've prepared everything ready for the chow mein, just because I like to be prepared. It saves, you know, getting all stressed. So I have cooked the noodles already and they will stick together. So what I'm gonna do is pop a little bit of sesame oil in here because oil does help. Obviously, yeah, it's not the best in terms of like you're adding more calories and stuff, but you know, it is a fake night. So this is gonna help them to stop sticking. Obviously you could just cook these when you actually need them. But like I say, I want everything ready to go so that when the duck is done, so the duck is actually taking longer than I expected. I've put it in the air fryer, but um, it's been on for half an hour. It's still got a lot of blood coming out of it. So I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes. Just really hoping that speeds up the process. But basically the next steps are, once the duck has got like five minutes to go, I'll start the chow mein. So I'll fry some white onion. And then once that's done, basically chuck everything else in, add a bit of soy sauce. I mean, you'll see what I do anyway, but yeah, just thought I'd just give you this little tip. Guys, 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 that was not the right wraps, the hoisin, the hoisin duck. These are rice wraps. I mean, I did want these to be fair, because I wanted to be able to make my own like little things in these. So I don't, I'm not annoyed that I bought these, but I'm annoyed that I thought this was it. Look, that is not what I wanted. I think this is what you make, um, not dumpling. I can't remember what they're called. I think they're called dumplings. Anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do now because I don't have the wraps I need, so. Okay guys, so I improvised and I made the duck wraps using these. I'm just frying them. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but they're really cold now. So yeah, I'm just frying them to heat them up. And then here is the chow mein, honestly. It's so, so good. Good morning guys. So I'm gonna make some brunch. So I've got these panini style rolls. Then I've got some tomato, avocado and eggs. I'm literally just gonna try and make like a Spanishy tomato bread and then layer some avocado on there and then also an egg as well.
So guys, I'm back in the present day as you would have seen what I had for breakfast. And then for lunch, I didn't actually film myself making it. I'll pop a little clip on the screen here to show you what I had. Basically, I just did the, uh, I can't remember what them rolls are called now, but them rolls are so, so nice. And then I just toast them. I put pesto on the top, mozzarella cheese, tomato. Um, I think it's called bruschetta ham or something I don't know what it's called and then a drizzle of balsamic glaze as well and they're really good I'd probably say you could take away the um ham just because it was like really really chewy and I don't know I don't think you really needed it I think the rest of it would have been really fresh and nice oh and I also put basil on it as well but yeah we had that for lunch about well half three actually and to be honest I don't know if we're gonna have dinner tonight or not because we're really quite full I've got loads and loads of filming done, as you, as I said at the beginning of the video. Um, what time is it now? It is now half past six. And I'm not feeling too bad, you know. I've done a lot of tidying. I feel like I've done a lot today, but I've still got so much left to do tomorrow. And the next day, I've got so many outfits to shoot. So I can do them on Monday, even when the bathroom's being done, because the you know, the racket and stuff won't matter because I just put music over the top. I think I've got, yeah, about 30 outfits to do. So a lot of outfits to get through. So I've said to Jordan to find a film for our evening, but I don't think he succeeded, have you? Mm. That is, <laughs> we're getting out of him tonight, I'm afraid. I literally said about an hour to him, an hour ago to him, pick a film because I was tied up my mess upstairs and he still hasn't picked a film. Absolutely useless to be honest. Here is Miss Lola. <laughs> She's just so cute. Oh, look at her. Two years old now, aren't you? You're two years old. Yes, you are. What are you saying, Geordie D? It's been a while, hasn't it? Mm. It's your face has presented itself on the channel. Shout out to my fans. Oh my god. <laughs> Comment below if you're actually a fan. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired today, guys. I've took this little dog out for a long walk. Got very annoyed at her, chilling. didn't you? I did get annoyed with her, actually. What did she do? She ate. Oh, she ate a load of it. poo. <laughs> and then yes, you did. when I told her not to, and then she went and got tangled up in a, in a bush as well. <laughs> And then look at her, spin the camera, she's lying. Yeah. Right. Her moody little bottom lip. She looks so grumpy. Oh I my, you look so grumpy, Lola. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's been a few days actually and I've not been vlogging, so I'm really sorry, but I guess you won't really like notice a difference. But yeah, the weekend was very, very hectic. I was so, so busy with filming. Honestly, I literally spent all weekend filming because I was aware the bathroom was gonna be redone um, on Monday this week. So I just thought, right, get all your filming done at the weekend so that you're kind of like up to speed with everything and I haven't got to worry too much. So today is Tuesday. It's five o'clock now, so I've literally just finished work. The bathroom has pretty much been finished now. So that's really exciting. Um, I just filmed a little bit for that vlog actually because I'm creating a separate vlog for it. Um, so yeah, I've just popped on some chicken thighs in the oven and I've also popped on salmon as well. So I defrosted two packets of salmon because my friend Sally's coming around tonight for dinner and I was gonna make our salmon, tender and broccoli and rice. And then I kind of just thought today, actually I quite fancy a chicken stir fry. So I, because I've defrosted the salmon, I've had to cook it now. So I think I'll probably take that with me to work tomorrow because I'm in the office and I can have that for lunch with rice or something. And I might also give my dog Lola some of it as well. So. Yeah, that will be fine. Um, so I've just cooked everything up, but I'm gonna do a chicken satay stir fry for dinner tonight, which I'm really excited about. I just want something wholesome and filling, but lots of veg as well. So yeah, it is, like I say, Tuesday today, and it has been a really hectic weekend, um, a really busy week for me so far because I was just well I said a really busy week yesterday wasn't too bad I did actually get a bit downtime yesterday just to relax and watch tv for a few hours in the day because there was all the racket of the bath and being done so there was nothing really I could do I edited a few videos chilled and then I had a really busy evening again tidying up because if you've ever had your bathroom done I don't know about you but the whole upstairs of my house turned into a bomb site because every room was being used to like store different things in and there was just mess everywhere so I had quite a deep clean well I say deep clean not quite deep clean but I had quite a thorough clean last night tidy more so not clean a tidy i mean need to actually thoroughly clean this weekend and get rid of all the dust and all of that so i am looking forward to having my house back i can't lie um 
if I zoom myself in, I keep doing this, keep zooming in. But yeah, I'm very, very pale, as you can see. I've actually shaved my face today. So I'm looking a little bit red um, and I've just moisturised because I just wanted to have a smooth base. I don't know if you guys ever shave your face, but honestly, it makes your skin so, so soft. And then when you put your foundation on, it just glides on and looks amazing. So I wanted to do that today whilst obviously I'm not in the office. Then it's all ready for tomorrow to put my makeup on and it just looked really smooth and nice. So I just wanted to update you because I said earlier on in my vlog about being happy and positive and stuff. And um, I keep saying, oh, I'll do like a, what I eat in a day and talk to you guys in more detail about health, which I will, but I'm just wait waiting for the right moment because where the house has been so busy with people in and out for the bathroom, I haven't been able to film much. So to cut a long story short, I think I said it at the beginning of the vlog or no, I think I said it in my last vlog, but I stopped taking my contraceptive pill I realised that was like a massive factor that was giving me bad anxiety. I know what anxiety does, it you know, it keeps me up at well, everyone's different, but for me it kept me up at night. I wasn't sleeping, I was so tired all the time. And then that gives you a knock-on effect because when you're tired, you then lack energy. When I lack energy, I'm then really hungry. So there was just loads of knock-on effects that it was having. Anyway, I came off the pill about five, six weeks ago now, and I just feel like a whole new person, honestly. I feel so different. I feel like I didn't even realise how bad I felt until I came off it. And yeah, it's just like a breath of fresh air. I feel like I'm alive again. I feel like excited by life. It's almost like I felt dulled down being on it. And now I've come off it, I just feel so excited and happy about life. Don't get me wrong. Like today I've been working in my normal nine to five. I haven't had like the best day just because you're working. Like I'm not gonna sit there all day doing work thinking, oh my God, I'm having the time of my life. But if I am doing something really fun, I really get that like excitement again. And I'm just excited for my plans and I wanna make plans. And yeah, I just feel really appreciative of life. And I've been really reflecting the last few weeks just on life and everything that I've achieved and what I've got to look forward to. And just, just life and health and everything like that. I went to the doctors to get my boobs checked out the other day because that was on my mind, was really worrying me. They confirmed that was all good. So that's like another thing off the list, another less thing to worry about because I kept worrying if there was lumps or not because my implants make it really hard to tell if there's a lump or if it's the implant. So that was really a worry of mine. So again, really like just appreciative for my health and just everything really so I can't explain it but I just feel so much more upbeat I don't know if I come across like it or not but I just feel like not saying I had a glass half empty approach beforehand but I definitely just in my head I felt like I was struggling to always be positive whereas now I just feel like I feel positive like I've been getting up earlier I've been getting into a better routine I'm still not there yet like I want to get back into working out again but one thing at a time you can't do everything at once but Again, since this like positive mindset, another thing that's been crazy is that I've just wanted to eat differently. So I don't order any bad foods anymore in my weekly food shops, which I think I might have showed you guys earlier in the vlog. Um, and don't get me wrong, at the weekends, me and Jordan will buy a little something, something. Like this weekend, he went to the garage and got like a couple of bits, pieces. Like we had like apple pie and like... Um, and ice cream and things like that but for the whole I'm just eating so much better but I actually want to eat better I want to eat cleaner I'm not craving the bad things anymore it's, it's almost like something has switched in my head and my body is finally my body my mind I don't know what it is it's kind of like give your body what it needs to function if that makes sense not I'm not just thinking about what I'm eating anymore for the taste of it I'm actually thinking about what I need as well to get all my nu nutrients in. And I don't know, it's really like, you know, it's quite a deep topic, I guess, like all these things I'm talking about. Um, so I'm just gonna pop you there. And probably something I'm kind of like rushing a little bit. Um, but you know, I, I'm conscious my friend is coming around in the next like 20 minutes, so I need to hurry up. And I've also got some Instagram stories to post for a brand. So I just wanted to like quickly summarize how I've been feeling, but I am planning on doing some like good videos all to do with it. Like I wanted, like I say, I wanna do a what I eat in a day. I might do a like another routine style video, like a morning routine or like a ways to be productive or ways to change your mindset. I don't know. I'm not gonna like overcommit because I feel like sometimes I say, oh, I'll do a video on that. And then I never get around to doing it. And then I kind of have this pressure in my head of like, oh my God, I need to do that video. I haven't done it. But I've got some video ideas, which I plan slash may do. Let's just say that I don't overcommit to anything. Because that's another thing I've kind of learned when I have too much on, I get really overwhelmed. Like when I've got a list of you must do X, Y, Z, I get overwhelmed. Whereas I've kind of just told myself now, you do what you, you do. Like obviously there's things in my life I have to do. Like I have to work in my job. I have to pay my bills. Like there's things you have to do in life. She made me jump. I need to let her out for a wee one sec. 
But yeah, as I was saying, there's things in life you have to do, which are commitments. And then there's things in life that you, you know, you can aspire to want to do, but you don't have to overcommit yourself. And that's kind of what I'm learning right now. Like I used to have this pressure where, oh my God, I have to post every single day to Instagram on my reels. If I don't, it's the end of the world. I have to post three times a day on TikTok. It's the end of the world if I don't. And now I'm very much of the approach of, for the most part, I do achieve what I want to achieve on them platforms. Same with YouTube. If something gets in the way and I can't post, what is going to happen? I'm not going to lose all my followers overnight. I'm not going to lose what I've worked hard for for the last however many years. It's okay. You know, it's okay. I post more than most people that do this stuff full time do. And I just do this on the side. So I just kind of like try and calm myself down with stuff like that. But it's the same for everything in life. And that's kind of getting back to why I don't want to over like promise things and say, I'm definitely doing a video on this because then that will be on my mind until I do it. And I just don't like that. I like doing things when I want to do them because then it comes out a lot more natural. It's not forced. And, you're, and you guys will pick up on that as well. If I'm filming something and I don't really want to film it, you'll pick up on that. So yeah, there's video ideas I have. Anyway, I don't know why I'm going off on one, but I'm just trying to explain myself. <laughs> um, my eye's quite itchy. But anyway, how long have we been rambling for? I'm probably going to stop here because I have been rambling away too much and I need to crack on and upload my Instagram stories. But I'm just feeling a lot better in myself. I just wanted to say that because I did do some vlogs about two months ago now talking about how I was feeling rubbish, my anxiety was bad and I genuinely feel so much better. Don't get me wrong, it's not gone. I don't think it'll ever go. It's something I have to learn to deal with and live with but I just feel like a different person in my head and it's almost like the way I'm reacting to things is different and the way I'm feeling about things is different. And I feel like I can be a bit more rational with things. So if I am having a day where I feel a little bit rubbish, I can kind of just say to myself, it's okay, you'll, you know, you'll feel okay tomorrow or you'll feel okay, okay later on in the week. And then I don't, I don't catastrophize anymore. I don't then think about it too much and um, overanalyze it. Whereas before, if I had a bad few days, I would assume my whole life was gonna be like that. And then that is catastrophizing. You know, you one thing happens, then you spiral it out of control. And that's really what I was struggling with before in loads of different ways. And I just don't feel like that anymore. So I do want to just say that as well, because anyone that's kind of was there where I was at, you will come out the other side. So anyway, I'm going to stop here. <laughs> okay, so I've done my Instagram stuff, so I can come back quickly, guys. I wanted to share this with you because I have officially had a PR package from B&M, guys. B and bloody M. You guys will know I have been doing B&M videos for literally years, about three years. And I've shopped there since I first got my first property. So to be contacted by them, look, I have actually used some of the wipes earlier. Um, to be contacted by them is absolutely amazing. So I wanted to share this with you. So these are new, exclusive and great value beauty products from B&M. So yeah, they've sent me these new things to try out. So how exciting, guys. I've got this new hair care brand. So we've got this hydrating shampoo, banana and coconut. And then I've also got the conditioner to match as well, along with the hair mask. It's funny because I actually bought some of this when I was last in there, this brand, not this scent, but this brand. So yeah, it's cool they've sent me that. Then I've got some Batiste dry shampoo in the vibrant, colorful fruits. I haven't used dry shampoo in years. In fact, I've never really used it. I feel like it kind of always looks weird on me, like it goes white. So I'll try that out and see how I get on. Then I've got some just wipes, which are really handy to have in the cupboard. Micellar cucumber tea tree, and also the deep clean, cleanse, sorry. And then lastly, we have some face masks. So I've got a pink grapefruit bubble sheet mask. Also got a foot peel, tea tree and peppermint. And then finally, a vitamin C infused sheet mask as well. So yeah, thank you so much to the team at B&M for thinking of me and reaching out. And then moving on to this side, we have got the, oh, I've arranged it all nice, now it's all ruined. We have got the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. Um, no, we haven't. We've got the Glossy Box Easter Egg. So first off, the packaging is stunning, guys. Beautiful Easter Egg. And then here are all your treats. So we've got a Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. See if I can open this baby up. Oh, is it sealed? I can't tell. How do we get into this? Here we go. Oh. This is cute. Oh wow, look at that. I love Too Faced. Let's see, 
very nice like just that's really soft that's the sort of color that i would use because i don't use highlight too often actually then i started using it again the other day so it's funny they've got one of them in there it's a bit of a coincidence but how cute it looks like a little ring box doesn't it be too pretty to chuck that away once i'm done with it although highlight lasts forever i've not ever successfully got to the bottom of a highlighter i don't know if you guys have then we've got i'm so clumsy the frank body um glow mask and then we've got a lip balm revolution this is quite dark so what i normally do is if there's products that i don't use or i know i'm not going to use i kind of pop them in a box and then over time i give them away to friends to family to my mum to give into her work colleagues or i do giveaways as well so that will probably go in there because if, if i know i'm not going to use something it seems a shame for me to try it out knowing i'm going to get one use out of it take it off and you know not use it again um then we've got a hand cream wild rose i love the rose scent so nice i spy Tropez. this is the bronzing water mist face mist this is amazing i've repurchased this quite a few times it's great i love their water mists i also always use the water mist on my body obviously it's a different one it's a body one but i highly recommend that's basically the only fake tan i ever use because my skin is so sensitive from eczema and this works amazing for me so then we've got a number seven protect and perfect serum as well we have got a deep cleansing oil and then what else this is a oh blow dry mist and then we've got a hair repair these are always great if you're traveling if you're going away for the night or week you know to take a little mini product with you it's always really handy and then last but not least we have the one by well one by jennifer lopez i'm guessing this is a perfume i'm gonna try it out because i've not smelt this before but again i love products like this because for one that's a really cute packaging but you can just take this away with you so yeah look, it's a really cute little bottle sorry you can't see my reaction but i'm just gonna mm, it's nice it's quite light quite fruity um yeah it's okay it's not like my fave i'll be honest just because i've got my faves already it's quite floral actually it's quite like delicate i don't think what it reminds me of but you know when you first spray a perfume, I feel like you need to give it time and a chance. Whereas when you first spray it, it can be a bit overwhelming. Hey guys, I just realised I haven't ended this vlog. So I thought I would let you see my beautiful little girl Lola as I end the vlog. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this. The next vlog will be when I'm in Manchester with Laura next week. So I'm really looking forward to filming that and heading down, well, up north even for the first time. I've never been up that way before, so I'm looking forward to it. So yeah. See you guys later. <laughs>